Hello everybody. So I've been working on carriers, trying to figure out a style that I can live with. Uh, so here are two vaguely completish carriers. Uh, the one on the top is more completed in that it's basically ready to rock. Um, the one on the bottom still is missing some cladding and some more gyros. But I wanted to go ahead and show you these two basic ideas and see which style you prefer, which you know you can you can tell me about ship design. So this up here is the first one I built. Even if I like this style of design, I'm going to have to rebuild this ship. Uh, it turns out the interior isn't isn't shaped right, and uh, uh, the, for some reason it takes damage. I'm not sure what's up with that. But this is a carrier that uses the nest philosophy. In the nest philosophy, you have a large, shallow place where you park your ships, you know, you park your drones, and it's relatively easy to get into and get out of, and it's very space efficient. And it's fairly well armored because I can crowd around it both with flying armor and with engines. So this ship is surrounded by its own engines and it hits against it are actually surprisingly ineffect ineffective. Uh, rams are very effective against it and uh, sustained assaults, yes, sure, because it's all light armor. But uh, this, this combination of engines and flying armor provides surprisingly good defense especially against something that's supposed to stay at range the whole time. This is a civilian class uh, f uh, carrier with a 20 drone capacity. 16 drones, 4 non-drone capacity. Uh, it's civilian because there's only space for small drones here, and this is a vanilla carrier. Small drones cannot equip turrets in vanilla, at least not without some serious shenanigans. So um, they can't automatically fire on an enemy in vanilla. You can't really make a drone that fires on an enemy in vanilla using guns because they've got that 50 meter maximum scan limit and that is just not long enough to actually hit an enemy. Uh, you need to be able to scan further than that to, to keep them in your sights. So unless the enemy is kind enough to give you a laser antenna lock, you're unlikely to be able to use a light drone to attack them. Therefore, this whole ship is non-military. It can take some serious beating, but it doesn't have any, you know, any external guns or any plan to engage the enemy. On the other hand, this is a more military vessel. Where is, if this is a nest, this is a nook. So this can hold fewer ships, but the ships are more well protected. There is cladding missing, so um, keep in mind that there is some armor here that is going to be reinforced. But the drones come in and they land in these nooks. Now these nooks are a lot better armored, but they're also a lot tighter, and they use up more space. So it's a question of uh, efficiency here. The nests are much more efficient, but are easy to target. These sorts of half-hidden bays are much less easy to target. Now obviously the best one would be a completely enclosed one, but my drones require a straight-in approach from 300 meters out. So I can't allow any of the... Uh, I can't allow anything between here and the drone target, or the drones might hit it. In addition to those tight drone quarters, the 12 small drones, there are, is space for two heavy drones, which I'll be putting in merge blocks, and they'll be part of the ship proper. The heavy drones are a great idea because they have the ability to mount turrets. When they're docked up, they're facing armor and they're facing turrets create a nose of death on this ship. Um, at least in theory, and then you can detach them and send them on their merry way. Now this ship is intended for combat. It doesn't have a, a serious amount of fire. It doesn't have like huge amounts of armor or firepower because it's not a destroyer. It's a carrier, but it can it can uh, you know uh, speak for itself in a combat role. And I think that the drones would probably be mostly combat-related drones. Um, the basic idea here is a more typical ribbing system and uh, it's fairly light and fairly efficient, although this would never hold up against uh, a, a modded ship because you can't get the amount of acceleration you need. All of these ships are too slow for my taste. Um, and all of these ships end up going the exact same speed because I keep attaching engines until they do. And you can see that there's cladding missing from back here. So let me show you the interior and I can show you why I need to build these carriers a little bit differently than the carriers you're used to. And maybe you can already guess by the shape of that habitable space. Um, my carriers cannot, unfortunately, have the same kinds of interiors as most other carriers, especially in vanilla. And the problem is that I need a lot more space. 
So here's the lower deck. It's just full of decorations and shit. But here is the command deck. And I need a lot of space. Uh, and this is something that I think most carrier developers just don't have to deal with. The idea that you need rooms this big is ridiculous. But I do have uh, 12, 14 drones to control, so I need to have a lot of these spots. Uh, and in addition, I've got commands I need to give out, and I've got you know monitoring statuses and all that stuff. So I needed a big room, and this is where the Od the Odin's beard fell short. It uh, it didn't have enough interior space. This does have enough interior space, and in fact, I'll be splitting it up uh, into a command room up there and a control room back here. So I might have built it with a little bit too much space. Objective complete. Objective complete. I've only got like four sound bites because I'm not using mods. This looks safe. <laughs> so let me know about which kind of design you favor. Um, I think that both of these ships are probably unusable in their current state and I'll need to actually build another new ship. But I'd like to hear your opinion on whether you prefer, which of these kinds of designs you prefer, whether you have any advice on uh, how to build carriers in vanilla. And please remember that I cannot park in a bay. I need a straight in shot. So that's the Odin's beard on the right, because it's full of tangly knots. And that's the Odin's glove on the left, because it's reaching out to shoot you in the face just like Odin's glove can. Yeah!